Hey y'all, what's up? Chad Wright coming to you here once again on the channel, Team Righteous. And today we got a couple of buddies here in the house. We got Suzuki versus Kawasaki. Which one's gonna make the most power? Both of them are first gen 1000. So we got the first gen ZX10 here on the dyno. Oh, can't see it right now. We got the ECU out, but previously flashed Previously flashed by yours truly here at 57 Motorsports. And got the, uh, got a stock header on it, race fit exhaust. It's already making some noise, so it sounded pretty good when he pulled it in here. Anyways, we uh, gonna see how much power we can make uh, with the base run. And then we'll be back at y'all here in a minute to see what we can get out of the ZX-10 and then we got the 2002 GSXR 1000. So like I said, both of them first gen bikes. Let's see who can make the most power on either one. See ya. baseline pulls in there 154 horsepower not too bad air fuel ratio is not too far off we've already previously flashed this bike as i said before so now we're just gonna go in here make some adjustments and see if there's some more stuff that we can gain in this thing all right y'all so we made some adjustments final pulls in here on the ZX-10. We made some more power. So we ended up making a total of 158.9 horsepower. So made 158.9 horsepower there at 11,250. Not too bad. Let's see what his buddy's gonna do over here on this 2002 Jixxer 1000. See if he can hang with the ZX-10. We'll see you in a second. All right, y'all, so here we are. Now it's time for Zoot Nation. Are we gonna show up and show out or get blowed out? We're gonna see, you know, the ZX-10 over there, it wasn't doing too bad. And this bike here's a little bit older, but also to say that it's a little bit older, it's 20 years old. Look how clean this bike is. Beautiful, beautiful Jixxer 1000. Everything about this thing is clean. Full Yoshimura exhaust. So we're gonna see how much it can make out of it. So for those of y'all are wondering, we can't tune this bike here through the ECU. 2001, 2002 GSX R1000s. They still have the older ECUs in them. So we're not able to, uh, to tune through the ECU, but it does have a Power Commander 5. So we'll be able to get the air fuel ratio right. And the good thing about these older bikes too though is they didn't have very many restrictions in them back then because there wasn't too much to restrict. The government hadn't too, got after them too much yet, so we should still be able to make some good numbers with this right here. So we'll see where she's at in just a minute. So we got our first initial pull here. Uh, made 149 horsepower. Tune it through. 
I recommend the five. So let's see if we can get it run a little bit better on this next pull here. here fixing to see uh, what we can get out of this Jixxer 1000. All right y'all so here it is battle of the brands here Kawasaki versus Suzuki who won we got uh, the Kawasaki made how much horsepower did you make I made uh, 158. 151.1. So Kawasaki is winning with this one. Now let's go with the torque numbers. Who's making the most torque? Suzuki. Suzuki making the most torque. So 80 foot pounds of torque. 78.7 foot pounds of torque. He said 0.7. Don't forget about that 0.7. Don't so, forget about it. So when they get home, they're going to go to a closed course drag strip, <laughs> test these things, or in Mexico maybe. They may go down to Mexico too, test these things out. Uh, but the gentleman here with the 1000, he's going to take it for a test ride, see how he likes it as well. And then we'll let y'all see that here in a second. Let's go see what this uh, GSX-R1000 can do now. Y'all put it in the comments below. Who do y'all think won? The man with the most torque, man with the most horsepower. It just depends on what you're looking for. That torque though, out on the streets, really means a lot. Anyways, we're gonna jump off here. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> 